Well, yesterday we had some widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. In fact, some uh, severe reports, including one tornado in Mississippi from uh, early yesterday morning. One injury with that, unfortunately. Now, there could be a few leftover showers as we take you into the next few days, but for the most part, that storm system is going to be ending today, at least pushing a lot of the shower and thunderstorm activity east of us, but we are going to be warming into late January. All right, so there's a tornado report in uh, central and southern Mississippi. Again, one injury, at least officially reported with that. All the other blue and yellow dots indicate the uh, wind and hail reports from yesterday. That front is now east of us. A few showers and storms may be lingering across the uh, eastern portions of North Carolina. And then there is going to be a little batch of rain that develops here Wednesday, Thursday, and potentially even into Friday. That kind of just lingers right across the coast into the southeast. And that could bring us some light rain showers and maybe adding up here to a few one hundredths of an inch as you get closer to central and northern, or at least a couple of tenths of an inch to uh, northern Florida, southeastern Georgia, but then a little more from Tampa down to Miami. And again, early showers and a few rumbles of thunder possible over eastern North Carolina could be adding up. So temperatures will be early out ahead of that front or warm early out ahead of that front, but then cooling off just a little bit behind that. Nashville to 47, a little bit closer to average, if not slightly below that. But again, temperatures along the uh, east coast today will be warm early. 77 in Orlando should be able to make it up in the lower 80s in Miami.